Hello Retroburn here. Today allow me to point out what I deem to be one of the more contentious points in Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. The Grey Knights Brotherhood of Psychers rule and the Thousand Sons Brotherhood of Sorcerers rule. Now, here's the thing. On page 26 of the Core Manual, there's this line. In the psychic phase, players take it in turn to choose a single psyker from their kill team with which to attempt to manifest one or more psychic powers in the order determined in the initiative phase. So if not for the each player can only choose a single psyker in each battle round rule, in a scenario where two groups are squaring off against each other, each with two psychers, the sequence would be Group 1's first Psyker activates first followed by the Group 2's first Psyker. After this, it's back to Group 1 with its second Psyker activating, and then finally Group 2's second Psyker gets to do his or her thing. If not for the each player can only choose a single Psyker in each battle round rule, that's fine, right? No question about it. However, with Grey Knights and the Thousand Sons, they've the Brotherhood of Psykers rule, and the Brotherhood of Sorcerers rule respectively. These rules have a common line. It states, When it is your turn to choose a Psyker from your kill team to attempt to manifest psychic powers in this phase, you can choose up to two models from your kill team to do so. This is where it gets complicated as quite a handful of online and real life friends opine that this just lets you activate two psychers in the same sequence set by the rule found on page 26. I asked about this in various FB forums and I got polarizing responses. However, if you dissect the line, it's quite clear. When it's your turn to activate a psyker, you can choose up to two models to do so. Hence the sequence, if a Grey Knight's squad in a Thousand Suns kill team square off against each other, each with two psychers, would be Group 1's first psyker activates first, followed by the same group's second psyker. After this, it's Group 2's first psyker, then Group 2's the same group's second psyker. People have directed me to the rule on page 26 of the core manual, but one can't deny how clear the Brotherhood rule is stated. When it's your turn to activate psychers, you can choose up to two. Also, if Games Workshop did intend to make it so that the alternating sequence applies, wouldn't they have phrased it as, in the psychic phase you can choose up to two psychers from your kill team to manifest psychic powers provided that you do an alternating sequence with the other players in activating psychers in the order determined in the initiative phase? Or even a simpler, you can choose up to two psychers to manifest psychic powers in the psychic phase? I don't know how tournament organizers interpret this rule, but for me, I'm going with what the line explicitly states. When it's your turn in the psychic phase, you can opt to activate two psychers. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. And this has been Retroburn, and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Happy gaming!